Well, that sure looks awesome. All 12 bins up on the hoppers. 100 meters long, 325 feet. So we just need a little bit more out of the truck to finish up. pad is coming together. Manly men are taking a break before we do the final load here. And then we'll be all done. But it's looking great. Excited then tomorrow we start moving all of these bin bottoms onto the pad. Tuesday, Wednesday and then Thursday the crane comes and we move all these bins onto the pad so it's gonna be great. Just finishing up big concrete pad. Last little bit. Woo! 100 meters long. 325 feet. So we just need a little bit more out of the truck to finish up. Like, wow, a couple shovelfuls and we're done. So they'll start back there and sweep one more time. We'll get a little teeny bit here. Okay, so Heinrich's running the machine and we're bringing the hoppers onto the pad. It's very exciting. We've got six in. We're placing our seventh one. So we, anyway, we've half done. We gotta clean them off a little bit and set them down on here. Straighten them out against the string. Looking awesome. zero gravity here they've been really good to us we've had them help us with quite a few projects now and we were gonna do it with a bin crane but this is so much faster and just accurate and careful they're just so good at what they do and a, a bin crane is a you hook it on the back of a tractor and you have to back up to move the bin and all that stuff so it's it's only as smooth as the tractor operator with the clutch, which is not smooth at all. And so having a crane where everything is very carefully hydraulic, he could just move it an inch, a half inch easy, and it's just been a dream. We got 11 bins up, one bin to go, and it's middle of the afternoon. It's been a fantastic day. It's been overcast all day, so it hasn't been um, hot at all. Now the, the clouds are burning off and it is starting to get a little bit warm, but it was the perfect day for this big project. Unbelievable. This changes our life dramatically as far as shoveling grain bins and setting up aeration and, and cleaning out the bins. Everything is just way better now. So we're on our last bin. We cut all the braces yesterday and then we took all the bolts out except for six around the bottom there. So as soon as he gets it up to where it takes some of the weight of the building, then we undo those last six bolts and he takes her away. Man, he is way up there and stretched way out. I think he told us when he's reaching this far, he's pretty much at the 
of what he can handle with that crane. And then he has a computer in there that tells him um, how much weight he's lifting. And so then we know the bin weighs 2,500 pounds and then he lifts until he's lifting 2,500 pounds on his computer. Then we know we can take the bolts out and it's not gonna shoot up or it's not gonna drop down because he's taking all the weight of the building just at a neutral state. Very exciting. Last one. These bins are what we store all of our seed canola in every year. With the 12 bins, I can, I can store six circles of seed canola in these 12 bins. Um, we usually go uh, half of a circle in each bin. And then we have a few other bins that we use for seed canola. This year we, we, I think we have about six and a half circles of seed canola, but some years we have as many as 10. So we definitely put, we'll definitely put canola in all these bins. Yeah, super nice, just how smooth. Now he's just about in position. Peter's there on the walkie talkie. So Peter's telling him what to do with the radio. And we get it lined up. Oh, we gotta spin that baby back a little bit to get the door into position. Anyway, I'll go and get in my position. Very fun. There they are. All 12 of them up. All the old bin floors. We'll tear those out tomorrow. But now we're all up on hopper bottoms. Woo-wee! It's beautiful. Thanks, Zero Gravity.